Right, morning. So, another uh, room transformation today. Um, Matt, ha Matt and my dad actually started this uh, last week and they put the fireplace in. All right, so they've, uh, let me just give you a bit of a closer look up here. So they've laid the um, hearth out there and then just tiled up the wall to make it a nice feature. All right, and then my job this week is to get the rest of the room sorted. Um, so we are gonna just kind of normal stuff, paint the skirting boards, paint the walls, but then we've also got, you can probably see them just up there, look. We've got these beams. So my first job today, before we start doing any of the painting, is to get them sanded down. Then I'm gonna get like a gray stain, which might end up on the floors as well. Yeah, but we'll need to get them all sanded off. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna get some gray stain so you can still see the, all the kind of wood marks or the uh, grain of the wood in there. Uh, but it's gonna be in gray so that it fits in with the rest of the decor. So it is quite a big room. Yeah, so <laughs> look, it's quite a big room. It's going to take a good couple of days, I think, to get this sorted. That's also going, look. Yeah, so that's going to be going. But it is a massive room. If, bear in mind that's a 65 inch TV and it looks like a 32. Um, it is massive in here. So it's not going to be a quick job. And I've got to do this sanding. There's no point in painting anything until I've got all this sanded down. So that's job number one. I've already moved quite a lot of stuff out. I'm gonna get some sheets on the sofas that I can't move out of here, get them doors closed, get the doors open, get these outside doors open to get some air in, get those indoor doors closed so that it doesn't go everywhere, so we don't get dust everywhere from uh, me sanding these beans down. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be the job. So I will show you the progress as we go along. I have decided that I'm not going to do the sanding just yet. What I need to do first is get all these holes filled in because I need that to go off before I can start painting. So I think that's going to be the plan. Get all these holes. There's been loads and loads of pitch hooks in there. Yeah, and they're taking off half the plaster as I've pulled them out. I do need to take these ones down still. So I need to move this all out of the way and uh, get up there and get those out and get everything filled. So all of the holes in the wall have been filled. Yeah, I've taken the curtain rails down. We don't want any tie backs, so they've all come off. Same in here. This one up here was a right pain to get off. I literally had to smash it off with a hammer. Hopefully Matt doesn't hear that. Well, he probably will, but hopefully he doesn't shout at me too much. Uh, everything's filled up there. Same down here. See, I had to do the same thing with that one that I had to come off with a hammer. And it actually took part of the wall off as well. So I have filled that, but it'll all look absolutely perfect once it's all painted. So everything's filled. We're not filling these bits because um, we've got some lights that are going back up over that. So that all get hidden anyway. So I've not bothered with that. Um, all down the side there, that I'll just get um, sanded down when I sand down all the filler. Yeah, there's some big hooks up there because there's a lovely little tapestry which uh, we'll put in the photos to show you. And again, they're not getting filled because that's uh, going back up. And that's it. So, these bits are covered. Everything else is out of the room. I'm going to open the doors because I'm now going to get some sanding done on these.
at Meltdown Central. I wish I'd never even started this job. Um, this is taking way longer than I thought it would. I've done the front bit there. You can see underneath. There's still lots of that. It's awful trying to get underneath there and do that. And then when we look at this side, start at that end and I've started that end. Yeah, it's just hard. It's just hard work and I'm about to have a meltdown, I think. Well, I've just sent my breakdown message to Matt. Just telling him that I wish I'd never started this and all that kind of crap that I've just been saying on here. And he's gone, well, have you not got the sander turned up full? I was like, what? As if there's different settings on the sander. Now I'm a little bit happier because um, it's getting a bit easier. And fingers crossed I'll be able to get this beam done before I have to go pick the kids up from school. Oh, well, I'm covered in uh, this horrible orange sort of stuff. And it's all over the floor. But it is wooden floor, so it was just easier to not bother putting things down and just hoover it up once I've finished. Um, that one is pretty much done. That's going to be a job for tomorrow because it's pretty much school run time. You can see bits of, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's still bits of dust, sawdust uh, flying through the air. So I think I'm just going to go and wash my face um, before I go grab the kids. Oh, fun and games, eh? Well, that sanding job was a bit more uh, than what we expected. I did enlist Alice's help towards the end and he's uh, finished off the second beam for me. And I have started painting the first one. All right, so it is like a driftwood style paint. So we will see the grain start to come through. Um, I am just gonna paint them all up and then I've got to pick the kids up and we'll see what it looks like when we get back. painted now it's time to get some sandpaper on the walls and uh, I'm gonna sand around the fireplace just where the uh, fire cement is there um, and then get some masking done Well, I think it's about time that we showed you the final bit of the living room. All right, so we left off having just painted the beams. Yeah, we'd not done any of the painting of the walls yet. We didn't film any of that. We did it quite late at night, or we started it quite quite late at night. Um, we've painted all the skirting boards. You've seen all that on a different video as well. Um, so no point in duplicating things. Uh, but here we go. Here is the finished room. It's almost Christmas, so it's all nice and decorated. So we've got all the curtains up. We've got the light fittings, we've got the curtains up. We've got the Christmas tree just over here. Perfect place for the Christmas tree. The little train going around it. All right, you've got the fire on in the corner, little Rossy boy. Is uh, 
sneaking closer and closer to the fire, having a little snooze in here. Fire's on there. We've got all our furniture back in. Everything just looks completely different. It is a bit Christmasified because uh, it's getting to that time of year. But yeah, that is the new living room. We'll put a quick picture of the before snap in just now. And you can see what it looks like after in this shot. 